All right, so the game has been out for about a week now, more or less. The official sales numbers have actually been uh, out for for a while, actually. So I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can see. But I can give you, a uh, you know, just a small number sale here. The top sold platform for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was the PS4, uh, not surprisingly, with about 2 million copies sold, more or less. You know, uh, it depends because obviously numbers change every single day, so keep that in mind. Uh, the least sold platform was a PC with only 200,000, and compared to all the other ones, it, it, it's such a small number. Um, uh, the PS3 was the second to last that sold, and it sold one and a half million. That's just to compare, it sold a million more copies on the PS3 than it sold on the PC. And you might be asking, why is that? Well, I guess PC players have wised up to, you know, the Call of Duty series, basically, where they just sit this one out, such as myself. Uh, yes, I'm playing the game. Do I own it on the, on the PC? No, absolutely not. I'm using GameShare to play this, which, you know, there's a good ability to have. So... No, I don't have the game, unfortunately, not yet. Anyways, will I get it on the PS3? Uh, I think Mr. Isn't Good asked me that, and yes, I will do. I will get it on on the PS3 as soon as uh, they start fixing some stuff in the game. Now, the game is a lot of fun, like I said before in my first impressions video. I like the the new movement kind of skills and the extra suit stuff. It feels fun, but not overpowered, which is a hard balance to to have. You know where you can. I mean, you can jump around and stuff, but you can't jump around that much that I can't hit you with the gun. You know, I can still, uh, I can still, uh, what's it called, skeet shooting, which you're moving around like a maniac, and I'll just pr spray and pray, and I'll most likely hit you because instead of shooting me back, you're just running like a maniac. So, yeah, that's one of the, you know, it's one of the balances. So. Another thing is a uh, breath of fresh air is the guns, and oh my god, the guns are just. It finally, about about to change. Uh, they changed the guns a bit. Uh, they did kind of change the guns a bit on Black Ops 2. But the thing is, they used old guns and just made them look futuristic. Changed the names and the, a, a, a bit of their looks. But come on, you, you, we could tell. A scar is a scar no matter how much uh, aesthetics you change on it. Or, or how much you try to paint it differently. Uh, this one, no, has completely different guns with lasers and all that. They're crazy. Uh, all of them feel different, and and all of them are have their own basic properties. Yes, yeah, some some guns are, are more overpowered, and others are you know a bit too crap. But that will be something that will be fixed in the near future. Now, let's go to the beds. Uh, the game has been a week, and I have about 15 hours of gameplay on multiplayer. I've completed the campaign as well, and I gotta say the connection issues is still very well prominent. There's been a patch already. A 40 meg patch, which I think it hit all platforms by now, and it didn't really fix all that much. Okay, yes, yeah, so I noticed a little bit of a difference. I wasn't falling behind all too much, you know. I'm getting a bit more kills now because of it, but it's still, yeah, it's a little bit laggy. You know, it it still feels. I mean, I don't mean lag as in my PC can't handle it. For the contrary, this is this is a very well optimized game, at least on my PC it is. Um, got an NVIDIA uh, GTX 980 card now, and uh, I got a good processor and all that stuff. And the game runs perfectly. I have no no issues with that. It doesn't lag, or st doesn't stutter or anything like that at any point. It's a connection, pure and simple. The connection is just terrible. Now, again, if you look at the Steam page reviews, when the game first came out, uh, the game out obviously immediately came out a lot of good reviews. Now. It has about 68% uh, of, of positive reviews and uh, obviously the remainder being negative. So the game went from being mostly positive to being mixed right now. And the main complaint about in all those reviews is the lack of dedicated servers and that the game just lags a lot. I absolutely agree, but my question to you guys is, does that one con out, you know, outweigh all the pros from the game? You know, I understand that the game is a multiplayer, obviously that's very important that you have good connection and that you can shoot other people and other people can shoot you fine. That's fine, I understand, you know. I, I don't I don't understand better than anyone. When I'm shooting you know, when the game starts making question myself and my own skill and my own ability to play the game, that's when I know there's something wrong. And 
all I can say to you guys is just watch the kill cams. I usually just skip and try to get my revenge and whatnot, or kill as many people, but right now I haven't been doing that. I've just been watching the kill cam, and the kill cams is such a different story from what really happened. You know, I go chase one guy out, you know, he's running, doesn't know I'm behind him, I start shooting him, he turns around, shoots me and kills me, right? And then I'm watching the kill cam, and then I see that I only shot like one bullet, which that was the only bullet that killed him, and he moved around some other place, which I never even saw on my screen, and then he just killed me with, you know, three or four bullets, while I only saw one on my screen. So the game decides to freeze and stutter up as soon as something major happens, which it clearly can't handle all too much. Now, I understand that Sledgehammer doesn't have, or Activision, or Treyarch, or whoever's developing the game at the time, they don't have the means to stress test the server as much as they should, which I told you guys, it, there's millions of players playing this right now, online. You know, there's two million players on the PS4, there's, there's, you know, another million, nearly two million players on the Xbox One, and there's another million and a half both on the uh, Xbox 360 and the PS3. Sure, the PC has the last players, but there's still million, millions of players playing this online right now. So, th the servers have to handle a massive amount of capacity. So, that's why, th we, you know, we should have dedicated servers, but everybody's crying about it. But, but really, what I gotta say to you guys is, what do you expect from a Call of Duty game? Like really, what do you, do you expect? Be, just because somebody once said that, there, yes, there would be dedicated oh, servers, does not mean that's true. You know, somebody once they, they kept kept it very vague and very quiet about the dedicated servers for a reason, meaning that there isn't going to be one. And some guy once got pissed off and said, "Yeah, there's going to be," and just responded to one comment at one point. He said, "Yes," doesn't really mean that. There's going to be for sure, you know? I mean, just, you just said that just to say it, just to shut you guys up. I don't believe there's going to be dedicated servers. That's just me personally. Now, can the game do without dedicated servers? Yeah, if it works fine, it should. But so far, it, it's not really working out very well. And it's a shame that uh, most of the times the lack compensation just decides not to be on my side and not to make it work very well for me. So... I'm usually not such a terrible player, I guess, with almost having 2,000 videos, you guys can go back and see. I've played f since Modern Warfare 2 on this channel, up to Modern War uh, Black Ops 2. So I played Black Ops, uh, Modern Warfare 2, um, Mo Modern Warfare 3, and then Black Ops 2. So I haven't I skipped Ghost completely, but still, I have a lot of gameplay. And I'm not that terrible of a player, but this game is making me feel like I am. Because I'm just always behind everybody else, unfortunately. Anyways, until we fix all that, I will not be getting this on the PS3. But I will be getting this game soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. See you guys in the next video, though.